Welcome to rykurkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about how to get started with ClickUp. Are you tired of juggling multiple tools to manage your tasks and projects? What if I told you there is a single platform that can handle it all? Say hello, ClickUp, the ultimate productivity tool that will revolutionize the way you work. Stick around and I will show you how to get started with ClickUp in just a few minutes. So first of all, what is ClickUp? ClickUp is an all-in-one productivity platform designed to streamline your workflow and boost your team's efficiency. Whether you are managing personal tasks, collaborating with a team, or running a complex projects, ClickUp has got you covered. To create and ClickUp account, you have to navigate it to ClickUp.com. From here, sign up. For signing it up, provide your account detail. Once you'll enter this detail, it will ask you for further information. Here, I wanted to provide the name I wanted to create with Rikurkul and password. I will select now. Whenever you'll enter this detail, it will give you a code. You can copy this code and paste it to here. Once you will enter this detail, it will ask you to why you want to work on ClickUp. So here, based on your preference, you can select it. So as of now, I wanted to create some videos. That's the reason I signed up here. I'll select for work just for one to 10. How many people will you working with us? Let's consider two to 10. And right now we wanted to use for PMO, maybe podcast or radio. I don't want to add any other member. Yes, I've already used Trello, Rick, Asana, Jira, Monday, Confluence, all those tools. But rather than selecting all those, I will just select next. And this is my workspace. I'm creating my workspace. That's the reason I will. It will take a few seconds and post that. It will give me an interface where I can work on it. This is a demonstrations video, which even you can have a look on it. But I don't want to watch this. Straight away, I will navigate it to the ClickUp. Now, when it comes to the ClickUp license cost, here you can see the pricing. So if you wanted to use 400 MB storage, you can use free unlimited tasks, unlimited free plan members, two-factor authentications, everything is listed here. Even you can get 24 by 7 support. Calendar view, customer field manage, everything is here. Let's consider you want unlimited storage, unlimited integrations, dashboards, guest permissions, Gantt chart, custom fields, column calculations, everything in just $7 per month. If you wanted to use for mid-sized team, where you want Google SSO, unlimited team, customer exporting, advanced public sharing, advanced automations, all those are available for business purpose as $12 per EO. Enterprise are, you can always negotiate on the cost. Here, it's very simple in terms of costing and based on that, you can use it as per your references. This is about licensing. Now, to set up the workspace, ClickUp allows you to create multiple workspace, perfect for managing different projects. From here, you can manage your workspace. You can create multiple workspace totally depending on your clients or project information. This will also give you a workspace name, invite your team members if you want to collaborate within multiple teams. If you can see here, this is an interface available. Here you can see list of tasks available. Whenever you want, you can add more number of tasks on clicking add tasks. Provide the task name. Let's consider I'm providing the task name as video recording. Here, if you want, you can add the uh, username or add the person name or assigning. As of now, in my instance or workspace, I'm just the one user. Here, we can pin into the templates. We can also set task type if we wanted to use it for the milestone, we'll select it milestone, else we can keep it task. But if you want, even you can customize this type as well. 
In this case, you can set due dates and probably set priority according to your requirements, urgent, high, normal and low. Once you're done with it, click on save and this will save your task actions. Here you can see the person name. Whenever you want, we can just modify it or edit it like updating the name of task, changing the assignee fields, due dates, priority, everything you can modify it. As of now, I want to keep this high. This will become high. Whenever any new comments will be added, you can see it here. This is comment. Click on send and this comment will be added successfully. This is also editable. So whenever you want, you can edit it. Within your workspace, read. It's time to create a first task. Whenever we want, we can create it very quickly. Here, with you can also see in list view or uh, pin view, private view, productive view, or auto save any options whichever you feel you can use it for your requirements. Sharing permissions, you can even set the sharing permissions for your team, which is much easier. Inside the project, even you can create a folder. Within this folder, you can organize all your actions. Pickup structure is built around spaces folder and list spaces are the highest level greed for different departments or projects inside spaces you can create folders to group related list list are where tasks live and you can customize them to fit your workflow so whenever you want you can add the folder name let's consider i wanted to add this folder for demo here we have the list share this folder with set of team members you can invite the team member by just clicking on this and add the person name or if you want even you can make it to private once you're done you can just save it and create a folder even within this folder you can add any actions whichever you want inside the board view you can see different type of views available like the boards are having to do in progress and complete Whenever you want, even you can add groups like changing the color codes and everything is available. Let's consider I want to add the task which is in list view. Here I will quickly add some of the tasks with the just simple name task 1, task 2, task 3. So these are the tasks which is created. Whenever I'm done with this actions, I will just drag and drop and move into the print progress. And once this is done, we will just move into the complete. Here you can apply the start status view automations. Everything is available here. Inside the team space, we can see all the space which is listed. And this is totally depending on your permissions or based on your permissions, you can see these records are available. Here we can add even more status like QA, so you can see there's a QA if you want, even you can add UAT. Let's consider you're working into the any development projects. You can add any status related to the testing, which could be a part of QA and UAT. Even you can change the color totally depending on your requirements. Here we can also collapse the group in such a way where you can see more number of fields listed here. You can see this. This is the way. Now, if I want to apply, I can see it here. Customization is much quicker where we can customize these things. And within the list view, you can see there are three actions. One is in progress and rest two are into to do status. There's, there's no start and end it, but if you want even you can define it. This is high level overview of demo. You can even you can see these are the list available. If you want to have a look our, about all your spaces, you can see rest space informations and for everything you can see it from this wizard. Even you can add more number of columns or informations on just toggling these icons. Filters, even you can specify the filter and based on that, you will get an informations available in front of you. Even we can have a view according to our requirement where you can set the view as per the can chart, calendar, documents or tables even like Kanban board. Views are 
just one click away in ClickUp, most powerful features in its versatile views, we can switch between list, board, calendars and Gantt views to visualize our data or information within the projects. This can also give us the high level view on task where we are and if you will prefer, you can just use it totally according to your requirements. This flexibility ensures that you can manage your work in the most efficient way, whichever is possible. So that's a small summary about it. I just started create one video on ClickUp because I've already used or created a lot of videos on different other project management tool like Jira, Rally and other tool. If you think so, I can create more videos related to ClickUp. Feel free to add in the comment sections so that I can come up with more set of videos related to ClickUp. That's it. You're now ready to start using ClickUp to supercharge your productivity. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more tips and tricks. And as I mentioned, if you wanted to see more videos related to ClickUp, feel free to add in the comment section so that it could motivate me to add more videos on ClickUp. Happy tasking and I will see you in next video. Thank you.